What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing some salmon fishing with the good old spinner. But before we do that, I have to show you the best adjustment that you can make to this little spinner. Or get yourself hooked up on some salmon. It's fresh and fresh. Let's go. We get out of bed, we go guess that we take a breath. We say okay, let's get this thing started. started. We grab our rod, we grab our bed, we get in a car. I am so excited, I know you are. Oh, yeah. We make a catch, we set the hook and we let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be lit, just stick around and you will know. Oh, no, yeah. It's fresh and I'm fresh. It's fresh and I'm fresh. It's fresh and I'm fresh. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm gonna show you the best adjustment that you can make to one of these spinners. And if you guys see right here, we have a treble hook on. And the number one problem with having treble hooks on spinners is getting them snagged and losing your tackle. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take out this treble hook and put on this one hook. And then we're gonna do one simple adjustment that will keep you guys from snagging on. So here we go, guys. We have the spinner. We're just gonna take these pliers right here and we're gonna go like this and we're just gonna cut it off just gonna try our best to and shield your eyes while you're doing this by the way oh man this is this is hard ah. did I get it oh got it yeah the treble hook went flying but here's a spinner that we have obviously there's no hook on there now what do we need to do let's go ahead and take where did that hook go? Let's go ahead and take this hook right here that usually comes with spinners. This came with a blue fox spinner that I bought. Don't worry guys, I'm going to link the spinner and the hook down below. What we're going to do, we're just going to go like this. And we need to make sure that this is closed very, very well. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Not going to lie, that thing was harder to clip off than I thought it would be. Go ahead and pinch it down as hard as you can. There you go. See that, guys? Now it's perfectly closed. And see how there's a little piece right there? We just need to make sure that there's no way that this could get off if we actually hook onto a fish today, which I hope we do. If I go home empty-handed today, now I'm not even going to say it. Let's just make sure that that is closed super well. And I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of how today went. So, our adventure begins. We are now in water, trying to get those steelhead out. Imagine if I just face planted in, that'd be funny. This spinner is a, a char chartreuse yellow. It's called, I'll just put it up on screen for you guys and I'll link it down below in the description. What in the world? literally a clean break off oh my god this is insane look behind me oh god the current is super strong right now just take a look at that guys I'm not gonna lie if I go home but oh oh we're hooked up we're hooked up beautiful trout look at those colors It's fire more than you know. More than you know. We say okay this time, let's give a show. Give a show. But you gotta hit that bell right down below. So don't miss out and tell me you don't know. Don't know that it's fresher than fresh, even when the day is done. It's fresher than fresh because the day was fun. Oh my 